pretty sure I've done these videos before for uh, the close assault situation. Uh, we actually suppressed the Japanese unit from the 10th, uh, the third battalion, 10th company. He had, and in that uh, gaining that suppression, he took a step loss. Uh, we had already taken a step loss previously for this whaling scout uh, group and they're in move mode and they're assaulting into the hex and uh, we're about to see what will transpire. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, allow the, that we know final overwatch fire because these guys are suppressed. The suppression marker comes off. And earlier on I had a video, I uh, did a little quick little video about some of the movement opportunities that you have here and some things that I realized that you could, that I had not appreciated before. And uh, I mentioned that there was a plus four column shift for being adjacent. Well, it's actually a plus four column shift for being in the hex, not, not adjacent, it's plus two for adjacent. So anyway, moving into the hex and we're gonna conduct this uh, fire combat. These guys get to fire. Uh, first, because they are, uh, because these guys were suppressed. <clears throat> All right, so we flip these guys over for the moment, just so we can work out what we've got here. So we've got uh, eight plus four is twelve plus five is seventeen for the five steps that are in this unit. Okay, so seventeen combat factors uh, plus four columns, and. Uh, what I do, and it may or may not be right, I ignore things like the protective terrain and other things like that because both sides would get that. And I think the higher up the column shifts you are, the quicker the, the combat is resolved. All right, and we, the other mod we would possibly get is if there were more than five to seven uh, steps, which there are over here, uh, we would be on a different column. We would get a bump for that as well. So we'll roll, and unfortunately I didn't roll terribly good, roll 25, 24 on, what did I say it was? Now, I didn't write it down, dang it, all right. <laughs> so that's uh, 6 there, and 6 is 12, that's right, plus the 5, 17, and we're going we're gonna to add 1, 2, 3, 4 columns, we're not dropping any columns that I can see, and I rolled a 24. Four, which is going to put us on the 41 to 50 column and a roll of 24 that's just a one step loss uh, so we'll get a little one marker from somewhere he said trying to keep his finger on the place as well these guys take a step loss and now these guys get to attack they have nine factors actually they have eight factors because uh it's not a simultaneous result because of the suppression. All right, so now we're attacking these dudes. Now these dudes have uh, nine steps, and nine steps is going to give us an extra column shift, so they're going to be plus five columns, and we're going to roll the dice for them, starting at the nine column. And they rolled a, much, they rolled a little bit better, 42 on the nine column, plus one, two, three, four, five... 42, that is also a step loss, so they inflict a step loss. And we're both going to have to do our morale checks. I'm trying to find a step loss counter. There we go, and we'll work out who we give it to in a second. I will probably give it to these guys. And uh, let's see, so let's do morale checks for the uh, Japanese first. They're fine. And these guys... They're fine. We both rolled under. We're using the three for this guy, and he rolled 33. Okay, so we're going to have to go through a second round of combat, and so you would then go ahead and do that. And let's just, I'll come back, because you know, this might take a minute. So we did another round, and both rolled right in the middle uh, of the pack as well. Uh, we still have eight steps here, so that still gives us that extra column bonus for the Japanese. Uh, both sides took step loss. And so now uh, we've rolled for morale. Japanese roll a 62. These guys roll a 12. Uh, that's going to give them a suppression. That's going to subtract two from their, um, their firing capability, their firing strength. Is that correct? Yes. It's also going to make them a minus two 
uh, to try and hit, uh, which is really annoying. All right. So let's uh, continue to the third round of uh, Close Assault. And you know, quite often these things don't take three rounds. Usually they're over in uh, two rounds. And in the third round, Japanese uh, hanging in there, uh, the higher roll uh, mitigates the minus two columns for for this. These guys are now down to seven points, which means there's no negative benef- no negative to them for uh, being a larger unit. So uh, these guys are, are ended up rolling on the eleven to thirteen table because there was seven factors uh, plus four columns minus two columns. And these guys were fighting on the, whatever that is, uh, what's that, 10, uh, 15 column, plus 4, minus 2, uh, because these guys are suppressed. And they both took a step loss, and now we're going to do their uh, morale. And 15 on the morale, so they're good. And these guys are suppressed already, so 36, uh, 36 on a 4. Now, see, this is where uh, it becomes interesting. Uh, you might normally say, well, they're in partially protective or protective terrain, so they would get a benefit. Um, but when you get a, but I think when you're fighting in this type of situation, you want to try and get this resolved as quickly as possible and as effectively as possible. And I, and I think really what you do here is you say, look, screw the. Uh, <coughs> unless it's maybe an artillery zone or something like that. Uh, screw the protective in, uh, cover stuff. And uh, that would then mean we would get a second suppression here for these guys. And that is going to cause a problem for them. So our Japanese friends have to make a choice now. They can either lose a step, which would drop them, and they're already down to one uh, for this guy. Uh, so that would eliminate them, or they have to execute an SYR. And when you execute, you save yourself. And when you execute an SYR in a close combat, you're going to lose uh, half your step. So these guys are dead. That's that's the bottom line. So we managed to wipe out that uh, hex uh, of units. We need to drop another step. So we'll oops, we'll pop this down to a three, and uh, that is the end of that combat. And they took us. They took a. Uh, a loss, so I think they... No, I, I rolled for them already. That's right, they rolled. Uh, I was going to say they have to roll for a uh, morale check, but I did that. Okay, so there you go. That is a close assault, I think. <laughs> That's how I do them anyway. <laughs>